When India refused to buy Russian crude oil, bearing high shipping costs was a huge economic loss for Russia. Now they need to find a new buyer quickly. In this emergency situation, Russia's attention turned to China. Six Russian oil tankers originally planned to go to India changed their routes, and five of them went directly to Huanghua port in Hebei, China, and successfully unloaded crude oil. But why does India refuse to accept Russian crude oil? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now let's get into today's topic. Russia, a country spanning Europe and Asia, has an economy mainly dependent on the export of oil and natural gas. In 2022, Russia exported more than 240 million tons of refined oil products, accounting for approximately 10% of total global oil exports. However, with the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Russia's energy exports will also face great challenges. Since 2022, the United States and Europe have imposed severe economic sanctions on Russia, especially in the energy field, which has forced Russia to find new markets to maintain its economic lifeline. Soon, Russia's attention turned to Asia, especially India, a country with rapid economic growth. Data shows that India's dependence on Russian oil in 2021 is relatively small, with only about 12 million barrels of oil imported. By 2022, Russia began to sell cheap oil, and India also significantly increased its oil imports, reaching 50 million tons, accounting for 20% of its total imports. Clearly, Russia has become India's largest oil supplier. Meanwhile, European countries face severe energy shortages as they lose Russian oil and gas supplies due to sanctions. Against this background, India has brought huge economic benefits to itself by purchasing oil from Russia at low prices and selling it to European countries at high prices. But in this seemingly mutually beneficial partnership, India and Russia refused to receive six crude oil tankers from Russia this year. What happened? In 2023, India and Russia reached an important agreement on energy cooperation, and India will purchase 4.2 million barrels of Sokol crude oil from Russia. This agreement seemed to bring new cooperation opportunities for both parties. However, when six Russian oil tankers were loaded with crude oil and sailed to India's Vadnar port, the other party refused to accept the Russian oil tankers due to payment issues. Initially, Affected by sanctions from American countries, Russia decided to abandon the use of US dollars and euros for oil transactions. Transactions between Russia and India were initially settled in Indian rupees, which seemed like a mutually beneficial choice at the time. But soon, Russia faced an unexpected problem. The rupee was not highly liquid in the international market, which made it difficult for the large amount of accumulated rupees to be used for other international transactions. As China's economy continues to grow, the RMB's status in international trade has gradually increased, and more and more countries have begun to accept the RMB as a currency for settlement in the trade and energy fields. Russia has grasped this trend and proposed to India in October 2023 that it hopes to change the future settlement currency of oil transactions to RMB. However, this proposal was not recognized by India, which brought the oil deal between the two countries into a deadlock. At the same time, in order to reduce dependence on Russian oil, India and Saudi Arabia reached a crude oil import agreement. At the beginning of 2024, Saudi Arabia made a major decision to increase oil production. This caused the price of Saudi oil to fall, creating a clear contrast with the price of Russian oil. Faced with such market changes, India began to reevaluate its energy supply strategy and gradually turned to cooperation with Saudi Arabia. According to Indian media reports, India's oil imports from Saudi Arabia increased by 22% year-on-year in February 2024. Of particular note, imports from India's largest refinery reached their highest levels since 2020. Against this background, 
Six oil tankers that originally set out from Russia to India were rejected by India and lost their destination. They had to stay in the waters near Sri Lanka for more than 20 days. However, the high daily maintenance costs of oil tankers make it difficult for Russia to bear. Russia has no choice but to seek cooperation from Sri Lanka, hoping that they can buy some of the stranded oil. However, since Sri Lanka's industry is not particularly developed and its demand for oil is limited, they ultimately only purchase the oil on one tanker. In desperation, Russia turned its attention to the world's largest oil consumer country, hoping that China could purchase these five oil ships. As the world's largest energy consumer, China's demand for oil and natural gas continues to rise. In 2023, China's oil consumption will reach a staggering 750 million tons, and its imported crude oil will also reach 560 million tons. Russia, as China's important partner in the energy field, when Russia was desperate, China promptly extended a helping hand and expressed its willingness to purchase Russian oil. Eventually, one Russian oil tanker sailed to Sri Lanka, while the other five diverted to China. This action not only provides Russia with an emergency export channel, but also further strengthens China-Russia cooperation in the energy field. In fact, China is not only an important oil supplier to Russia, but also its largest trading partner. More than 200 million tons of oil are imported from Russia every year, accounting for about 10% of Russia's energy exports. In the current international landscape, both countries face economic sanctions from the West, but at the same time their cooperation has become closer.